Excuse me. Can you come back in the class, please? Thank you. <laughs> You're not even supposed to be bad. So I was going to get three. Yeah, they, any, that's open to anybody. This is your third lesson. Okay, today we're just going to tell y'all that, I mean, I know y'all are supposed to be bad and stuff, but we're doing stuff that people can actually get hurt. So we don't want anybody acting up. We're going to be doing headstand stuff, and, like, we don't want anyone to fall or, like, don't push anybody. Like, it's like a big risk today, so... Even though start we, off with the morning, basically. Yeah. If y'all do something, y'all gonna literally sit out the whole class and yeah. not do any of this. Because the whole hour of the class is gonna be like getting on top of people, people doing stuff like on their head and neck and stuff. So we just want to warn y'all before we even start the lesson. So don't do anything dangerous. This yeah. would, that would not be good. caught.
Look at that skill. You might want to start on your head and then try to get your head off. Hey, Joy, you had it for about two seconds. Yeah, if you want, just put your forehead on. Oh, Brian's got it. Two seconds. Oh, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. Wow, I think that's our winner right now. Ah, oh, not bad. slight arch in your back right here and just hold yourself up with your hands and hold it for five seconds okay. and squeeze your knees together tighten up your gluteus maximus yeah you want to keep your body as tight as possible tight tight torso so the first person get up right here somebody can... and partners just stand on the side and just make sure that they can actually get up to the wall you don't want it to fall down Wide hands, wide hands, tight elbows into your body. Make a triangle. Get your tripod going. There you go. Keep your head on the ground. Keep your head on the ground. Don't. It's not a handstand. It's a headstand. Head on the ground. Tight, tight, tight. Make sure your toes are pointed in the air. Keep your body straight. Hold it for five seconds and then you're going to come back down. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, the spotters are going to hold like the hips and the ankles if they can't get up. So in the front of her shoulder, arm goes out of here, so it'll get kicked. And you hold them at the knees. That way you can keep them from falling forward. If they start to fall forward, you see you can stop them. Just grab them and let them go yourself. We're trying to protect head and neck. Head, you have to get close to be able to hold her body weight. Okay. 
No, oh, there he's got a buddy. That's good. Head on the ground. Legs together. One leg up at a time. One leg up at a time. Yeah. Head on the ground. Really tight core. One leg up and then the other leg up. Now squeeze the knees together. Very good. Okay. Now push him back. Okay. Better triangle. You know, your head, if your head gets in line with your hands, you want to roll forward. Uh, not everybody has done it yet. Not everybody has done it yet. Let's try. Everybody try again. Come on. We don't want people looking at people. Come on. Go ahead. That's it. Get a little closer so you can hold his knees. One knee at a time, Brian. Yes, legs together, legs together. Okay, tight, 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 tummy. Okay, now come back down. Good job. Someone pretty confident that they think they can do it and that they can okay, let's let's watch him do it first. Okay? Yeah, don't, make sure he doesn't fall forward. So he's gonna Now that's a handstand. We want a headstand. We don't want kids doing handstands when they can't do headstands. They can hurt themselves, right? Head on the ground. It's a, yeah, put. Now straighten your legs out. Head on the ground, head on the ground. That is correct. That's good. Okay, okay. try it again. Um, if you move your hands in line with your head, you're going to fall forward. Okay. Not everybody has done it. You got your hands in line, dear. Put your hands back. Put your hands back. Got to keep your tripod. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is something called child charts. Go ahead, you're going to start. Good job. You're going to start in a push up position, and you're going to draw like this, and you're going to draw your legs. You're going to bring your forehand like this, and you're going to draw your legs. No, I might not be able to do it, so. Just going to draw your legs up like that. And bring your legs to the mat. So you come up, come up from the bottom like this. And bring your forehead to the mat. And you're just going to walk up with your toes a little bit. And make sure you keep your elbows in. You'll be fine. Yeah. You're going to have to push off your legs. Push off your legs. Good job, uh, JT. That's it. Walk your feet up. There, there you go. Now kick up one at a time. 
That's it. Straighten those legs out. Tight butt. Squeeze your knees together. Squeeze your knees together. Beautifully done. Look at those pointed toes. It does help to point the toes because it tightens up every muscle in the leg. That's why gymnasts do that. Okay, this one's going to be really hard. So your partner is probably going to have to grab your feet and literally hold them for one. Okay. Your partner is going to have to help you, like, Face your forehead and thumb touching. And you got to place your forehead in between your hands right here and try and get in a headstand from this instead of your arms being like this. It's going to be on your forearms. So you won't have anywhere to rest your knees whenever you get right here. Or you'd be on the ground. So the partner is just going to help from the bottom and bring their legs up and hold it. You got it? Yep. Let's see if you have to So make sure your forearms stay flat on the mat. Oh, good. He did it. No problems at all. <laughs> and what is this called? Okay. Forearm handstand. Put your forehead down. Put your forehead down. You need a base. Elbows down on the ground. Elbows on the ground. There you go. Now kick up. Tight booty. Tight booty. Oh, beautifully, Joya. Nice looking pony toes and everything. You were born to do this. Yeah, their feet were too loud, weren't they? Nobody's doing anything dangerous, but you're just being canai. That's a good thing, right? Keeps you on your toes. Mm -hmm. you, put, you, think, do you think putting them in timeout behind you is a good idea, Coach? <laughs> okay. Moving right along. He's hiding behind the curtain. Get caught. All right, the last one. You're going to sit down. Put your legs very right. This is called the fish clock. Which is really, really hard. So, even more. The last one. But what you have to do is you have to do it like this, which you might start in the squatting position. So you have to you have to do a backwards roll into a headstand. So whenever you're going to roll backwards, but whenever you roll backwards, you want to put your arm your arm on the ground and be able to push yourself up with your arm. Like from the physical. We need two spotters. Yeah. Um, why don't you come in? for every person so they can help pull them up.
pull her legs, pull her legs, pull her up, pull her up, pull her up. You can, okay, you gotta grab around the knees. A handstand, a handstand. Pull you up. Okay, look. If they don't, if they grab here, they can pull up to here. But if they grab the ankles, you, you can't lift above your head. So. The faster you roll, the easier it is. Pull. Yes. She just, just got to get the timing a little faster. A little faster. The faster you go, the easier it'll be. Put your hands up. Okay. And pull you up. They're giving her hell, huh? That's good. That's good. We're doing well. That's right. Put them in front. We can see it. It's fine. Nobody. It's fine. He's excellent. Look at that. Good job. Good job. I'm gonna crawl over and crash pad here. Very good. About her hurting herself in gymnastics, I worry about her hurting herself in soccer, getting another concussion. All right, so now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go from the curl up, we're going to go up there, hold it for a few seconds, come back down, and then we're going to do the kick up. So you're going to kick up and go back. For this time, your partner's going to spot you. You'll do the first one on your own. And then whenever you kick up, the partner will get you. So, switching teachers.
since we're not really little kids, we're older, we're more like high school people, she's going to pick the best one. And we'll keep a, a running total of the groups today, and the group that wins has the best overall through the whole day will get extra points. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to be leading. So we'll put feet to feet. Yeah. You'll have both feet in. Yes. Okay. 1,000. 1,000 more. Let her wait till she gets in. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Both feet are not in. Okay. Both feet in. Both feet in. Both feet in. Definitely the middle group takes the prize for that one. One point for... Yeah, let them figure that on their own. Look at the picture. Is it number two they're doing or number three? Two. They're doing two. I think we need to put the bigger person on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Winner! They, they got... So they've got one point to one point to zero over there. The leaning handstand, n number three. I'm basically just saying it for the camera. Is that 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, winner. One point to group three. Oh, wait, we just got to do it? You got to do it well. You got to do it well, and then the first group to get it done well is... Okay. Oh, well. Hey guys, take time, take time. This one. Okay. That sounds good. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. Group three takes the prize because he had a very straight body and you were all crooked. Sorry. You should have moved him out a little bit. Okay.
Uh, I will veto that. Stand in the front. And if someone starts to fall forward, stop them. They fall back backwards, they can simply step down. Protect the head. That's okay. She didn't okay, protect the head. Head and neck. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're going. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Winner. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. This one is a better one. What's the score? Three more. Well, they had. Well, that group over there started with one. So it would be two to. Two to how many? Four. Okay, two to four. Right. He really wants those bonus points, doesn't he? Do you all, do you want them starting from that position? One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. Since they're both equal and they made theirs first, they get the point. Oh, and what does the what does the say? It says. Doing good.
good, doing good. If you make it competitive with high school and college students, they will work really hard. If you do it with elementary, you don't need to make it competitive. They just want to be able to do it. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. <laughs> Only because you were, she was a little quicker. That. Actually, uh, two and a half is the highest you can stack in cheerleading. Two and a, that's it, because they don't want any higher than that, you can hurt yourself really bad. You're going to have to go very slow because if you do not coordinate the movement really good, people will fall. Okay, listen to me. The only injury I've ever had in this class has been this injury. What happened is, when everybody said, good, you're done, the girl on top jumped down on top of the foot football player's foot. Is that okay? And that's the On the dismount. I mean, she was she just standing on her knees. They didn't fall. She just jumped on his When I said get down, she jumped on his foot. So be careful when you get down. This is the walking chair. Yeah, we're not standing up. We're just sitting like this and everybody else. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. that's the next one. I'm sorry. That's, this one. I, I, my camera is on it. A uh, photo finish here. Here we go. Detached over there. Gotta keep your thighs touching. Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> Caboose has got to cross. Just now? Yeah, that means Brett's got to get across. Guys, my legs. <laughs> Detached, detached, detached. We went. Yeah, no, win by default oh, on the other right. side. That's a little bit hard, isn't it? Okay. This is the one that that was the the injury a few years ago on the dismount. She's judging by your skill level, right? Okay, so, you ready? The, the UL cheerleaders are safe in their job. 
You will not take it away from them. Okay, I'm going to back up and see what y'all built. The biggest, strongest, meanest people on the ground. Yeah. Get, 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 put your hips together. Put your hips together. Are you Very nice, very nice. And how many steps must they take? This is the one I was talking about that we had the only injury is when the girl jumped down, she jumped on the guy's foot. And he was our center for our football team, so that was not a good thing to hurt his ankle. And who is this? It's like a person, I guess if there's somebody right here and then Wait, are, there, are these persons legs Feet on the ground? That's no, what I thought. split, and there's two people on this side holding them and two people on this side holding them. So, oh, so this person's feet on the ground. And one person, this person is the one in the middle, in the midsection. And then, like, they're all and this one? So these two people are holding that this leg, these two are holding this leg, this one's holding the middle. Yeah. He's going to be the wheel grabber. Yeah. So my name has arms straight. <laughs> Okay. They still don't have Kate anywhere. She's not on there. No. You got two minutes to pick up. Okay. Yeah.